Let's look at this beautiful new car, presented by Ken. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. All right, I'm off to get more underwear. We'll meet back here at 2 o'clock. Chris, do you remember your job? The escalator so we can sue them all. De grand a toe now. <sighs> the train. Now that was the way to travel. You remember that, Chris? Not at all. When did we go and get ourselves in such a big damn hurry? Sorry, the train is just for children. Well, what about that guy in the front? He's a grown-up. He's the conductor. I don't see no orchestra. That's a different kind of conductor. All right, thanks for joking around with me. We're gonna go check out the rest of the mall. You are? We were supposed to meet an hour ago. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm playing a really cool new video game. Michael Douglas's Munch Out. Ah, nom 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 nom. Let's go. I'd stop, but Catherine Zeta-Jones' big hands are on the back of my head. You know what? Forget this. We're leaving. You'll find your own way home. What? What? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? I'm pulling down so much chotch, it's insane. Oh, no. I'm alone and lost in the mall. I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb. Hey, um... Let's move in together. And now I'm all alone and I'm just so scared. Okay. Do you want to go look for your wife or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, Is your wife named Lois too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Well, I've looked everywhere. Maybe she left. Paul Blatt, if you're out there, I could sure use a miracle. All aboard the Ladybug Express! But be careful, Peter. If this train slows to less than 50 miles an hour... Ah! Help! Ah! Help! Holy crap! Ah! An actual Amtrak train! This is dangerously out of control! List of actual rail disasters! Good morning, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, the secret to remaining upbeat after getting an elderly waitress. But we begin with breaking news from the Quahog Mall. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? Peter, move. We need the TV. Is this... Is this a coven? No, we're watching the new wine in a joint at Bonnie's house, and we want to watch Dallas Portland before the buzz wears off. Yoga for men? Yes, says the inventor of Broga. Stay for the whole class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess he's handsome and... That's who you're all excited about? That chiseled Adonis with eyes the color of Summer's first blueberry? Bulge in his shorts. I've never seen a bulge in the front of a man's pants before. You see that, Peter? That's the right amount of leg hair. So, Peter, where are your boyfriends tonight? I don't know. Where are yours? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm not myself tonight. Alice Portland's a jerk. Don't even say that name. Tom Tucker. Getting out of that windstorm that screwed up my hair and loosened my tie. You want me both, pal. That Dallas guy sucks. Why, what's your problem with him? Eh, my wife's been creaming her spinach over him. They're grooming Dallas, which means I'm on my way out. What? We can't let that happen. If that guy becomes the anchor every night, he's gonna be... <laughs> You and me both. Without the news, I, I don't know who I am. But what can you do? He's the flavor of the month. Well, if he's the hot young thing and everybody loves him, all we gotta do is make you hotter and younger and thinger. And then they won't need him. Well, how are we supposed to do that? I'm doing this for my mother, who taught me to sing when I was only seven. She was my biggest inspiration. And this one... This one's for her. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Scares, Latvia's number one bear prank show. Now available in Region 3 DVD. Mind if I join you? I thought you hated the news. Developing story. <laughs> I like it now. <laughs> okay. What's he doing? He's crushing it. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, right? He's so random. 
Boy, I never realized how young and hip Tom Tucker is. Tom's about to tattoo the word Coachella on the bridge of his nose. Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know, Grandma. I sit back and walk. Ah, oh, he got his eye. Ah. Holy crap, they fired him? Oh, my God. Oh, well, now back to my life. one who told Tom Tucker to try all that nonsense on TV? You realize you cost that man his job. Poop up a button, they threw her a parade. That was a colonoscopy. This is kind of your fault, you know. I mean, you're the one who was drooling over that Dallas Portland. It's like when you watch Mad Men for that chick you said was like a fat me. I said a young fat you. The point is, you've ruined that man's life. Today on CBS This Morning, we'll be talking about how much sleep you need to not be drunk from the night before. I'm sorry about what happened. Let me make it up to you. I'm the one who made you lose your job. I'll find you a new one. Don't bother. I'm washed up. Everyone saw what I did. And besides, I... Thanks to you, it's over for me. Like Billy Zane. Billy, you're through. You haven't done anything in ten years. Yes, I have. I was in those electronic cigarette commercials. Sorry I let you down, Tom. Oh, my God! Look! Up on the roof! Doritos Tacos is only for a limited time? And oh, no! Tom Tucker's gonna jump! Tom, I got here as fast as I could. So, so what's, what's going on? It's over for me, Peter. If I can't anchor the local news, I have no reason to live. Hey, Tom, the camera's gonna be on you in a second. Before you jump, could you just hand me this microphone? Like you're passing me the torch? Jumper on the brink of suicide. This is huge! There's a jumper here, but it ain't Tom. It's me. What? That's right. Tom was just trying to talk me down. Roll it. Good evening, Quahog. This is Tom Tucker atop a roof where a local crazy person is preparing to end it all. Oh, here you are. Tom Tucker's back. I know. Tell us, crazy person, why are you doing all this? I'll tell you why. I'm doing this because I ruined a guy's life, and I feel awful about it. Well, whoever this guy is, I'm sure he appreciates what you're trying to do for him. I think I speak for all our viewers when I say, come down off this ledge with me. You got it. Ah, pigeon! Ah! Ah! It's fine, he landed on people. Well, I'm glad your crazy stunt worked out, and Tom Tucker is back at Channel 5. Ooch, they made him anchor again. That's great to hear, because Lois! I... Lois! I don't think so, no. Lois, I'm rich! Now I think I do hear something. I should probably go see what he wants. Oh, boy. She's getting in his helicopter. Well, I'm big enough to admit when I'm wrong. I'm here, Lois. Oh, for God's sake, Joe. Can't you put a tall flag on the back of your chair or something? Bunny's out of town, so I have an extra ticket for Tuesday night bingo down at the Allendale Mill. Why the hell would I want to go to bingo? Oh, it's a blast. Yeah, that sounds perfectly terrible. You know what, Joe? Peter would love to go with you. What? Terrific. I'll pick you up at six. <sighs> All right, I'll go. But I'm not happy. You know how much I hate being told what to do. Oh, I see you came with the big cheese. What? You? You got a big cheese? I usually bring a variety wheel of laughing cow cheese. <laughs> well, you just must be cracking up all the time hanging out with this one. Look, ma'am, I don't know what signals Joe is sending out, but I'm married. G49. They call O69. I say, oh my. Ooh la la. <laughs> Yeah, really funny, Joe. Or, or how about this one? Well, if I were you, I'd sure be excited. You're only one number away from having a bingo. 74. <gasps> bingo! I never won anything. Well, except for when I won that Tory spelling bee. Peter reached this round by accurately spelling collagen, repulsive, and botched. Don't force it, Joe. Yeah, be quiet, Joe. Me and the gang are trying to hear our numbers. You in the gang? I'm the one who brought you here. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I've had like four insurers. I'm out of my mind. Busy right now, so I'm gonna have the Somali pirate from Captain Phillips tell you something. Look at me. He is the bingo captain now. Okay, I'm off to bingo. Peter, what are you wearing? Oh, you mean my bingo cape? That's a holiday tablecloth. We may go to Denny's. Is Joe going with you? Oh, crybaby Joe? Nah, he doesn't come anymore. I think he resents my skill. Hey, 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 don't try to take this away from me. This is the only thing I've ever been good at. Well, this and timing my farts to a thunderstorm. And what that is, is to indicate our international sales, which peaked, oh, of course, yeah. during the last quarter. The storm's moving away. I mean, my wife and I have never said the words open marriage, but... Oh, hey, Lois! Peter, it's time to come home and give Joe back his stupid little activity. And second of all, we're about to play a new round, so start taking your pants off, because when I win, I want you ready. This meant everything to him, and you've taken it away. 
as a friend, do the right thing and give Joe back the happiness he found here. Gag on my fat dauber. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't want to have to do this, but you've left me no choice. Kids, get in here. All right, how do you play? Freeze, base? Wow, what's that about? I call I sit next to Dad. 